welcome back guys um, this is uh, a pleasant surprise this was just released um, just a little while ago I think I, I saw the um, on distro watch that MX the successor to MX 14 which is MX 15 was released and if you remember MX 14 it looked very similar to this except it had a black and blue wallpaper and it had a blue sidebar um, I think they were smart in, in keeping the sidebar um, the way it is because I really like it that way and I think most people do uh, but they went with a different wallpaper, which I really like. It's very, very nice, um, very tasteful, uh, and they've really uh, made the look really, really sharp. Um, as usual, they did a fantastic job. I installed it. The installer is absolutely spot on, uh, no problems at all. Um, you can designate exactly where you want everything installed, including the bootloader there's no problem either installing it to MBR or you can install it to your root petition which is what I did and um, absolutely wonderful no issues at all um, I added uh, the usual GUVC view and Kazam and uh, I think I downloaded SM player also um, but um, other than that, it, this is basically stock right out of the box. Now, I believe it's based upon uh, Debbie and uh, Jesse. Let's take a look for a minute at the website. Okay, so we have uh, the MX Linux website here. Now, of course, it's XFCE. Uh, I already changed the menu by putting the categories on the left and tweaked it a little bit like I usually do but um, it has a really nice theme nice nice look to it super absolutely super I really like what they've done as far as the aesthetics um, it operates uh, as you would expect it's smooth it's fast um, I'm gonna go through the software that's provided out of the box in a moment but uh, let's see what this is based upon now let's see I think it's just uh, uh, Debbie and Jesse the stable release and there's a, a decent user manual also um, the, there's an MX Linux user manual that's super absolutely fantastic and it's got the uh, install guide I mean it's it's basically got any, everything you you want to know about uh, MX 15 and how to use it okay so let's take a look um, I'm gonna pull up the distro watch page because I believe there is some additional information on that and chakra was just released now I tried to download that but I had some difficulty um, either their server was acting up or my connection now um, when I tried to download it, it's a large two gigabyte download but when I was downloading it was telling me it was gonna take three hours I tried a different mirror still the same now conversely when I uh, downloaded MX 15 the uh, download finished within five minutes so uh, I think it was uh, chakra server or source forge which is notorious lately for very very slow downloads uh, now I see Corora was uh, released and that's a uh, fedora based distribution um, I just did Fedora 23, so I'm probably not going to do Corora. But um, I do have another Debian review planned for tomorrow, so uh, stay tuned for that. But I just couldn't resist doing the MX15 because I really liked MX14, and I was curious as to what they would do to follow up such a terrific distribution. So uh, if we click on... 
Uh, let's see. I'm not sure it's going to mention what it's based upon, but I believe it is Debbie and Jesse. Yeah, Debbie and Jesse 8.2 with extra enhancements from our packaging team. So uh, it comes in 32-bit and 64-bit. I installed the 64-bit. If you're going to download it, I suggest downloading from the uh, MX Linux mirrors because that was really fast. I, that came down, like I say, in under five minutes. So let's take a look at what, what comes loaded out of the box. Okay. We'll start with accessories. We've got the application finder, archive manager, bulk rename, catfish, clip man, calculator, GTK hash, uh, leaf pad, GTK light DM greeter settings, live USB, lucky backup, midnight commander, app notifier, notes. Now you can see this comes with a lot of useful utilities. Education, again, just the uh, LibreOffice Mac. The Chromium Space Shooter Breakout and Peg E for uh, games. Graphics, GIMP, uh, scanning to PDF, a uh, program to uh, uh, help with that. LibreOffice Draw, Mirage, and Shotwell for photo organization. Internet, you've got Firefox, GNOME, Dial-Up Tool, HexChat, Thunderbird Mail, and Transmission. Multimedia, as I said, I installed GUBC View, Kazam, and SM Player. VLC, XF Burn, YouTube Browser for SM Player. GMTP, Clementine, Audio Mixer, all installed out of the box. LibreOffice is installed along with PDF Shuffler. And there's another document viewer uh, for settings. You've got uh, appearance. We'll, we'll take a look at that in a minute. Bluetooth, obviously. Uh, all the uh, file managers, Thunar, as it usually is with XFCE. Firewall configuration. We'll take a look at that. And have to unlock it. And we will turn it on. Okay, so basic firewall is now enabled. And let's see. Gparted, Grub Customizer is included. Ice T. Uh, let's see, mouse and touchpad, network connections, notifications, Java. Uh, you can customize the panel. Power management, preferred applications, print settings, removable drives. Samba, screensaver, uh, session and startup, settings editor, settings manager, synaptic, window manager and window manager tweaks, and workspaces. And for system, bleach bit, standard and as root, bulk rename, disk manager, firewall, we already took a look at, disk analyzer, GDB, Gparted. Uh, let's see, Lucky Backup. Now we, now we come into the uh, proprietary. MX Boot Repair, uh, it's a simple boot repair program. If you have any boot issues or, you, or your boot file is corrupted, uh, that can help uh, fix that. We've got MX Broadcom Manager, which I mentioned in the past, I had some difficulty installing my Broadcom drivers on MX14. Well. Uh, with MX15, they have uh, added a Broadcom manager, which I'm sure will help. This machine doesn't have the Broadcom, but I'm going to try it on my other machine with Broadcom to make sure that that works properly. Uh, MX Check App GPG. Uh, uh, looks like it installs missing, uh, maybe missing app dependencies. And then there's a Codex installer. So let's take a look at that because we always need our codex. Uh, we need all the multimedia codex for everything that we throw at it. 
on a daily basis. So let's see if we can get that installed. Let's, and we'll leave that alone and go back to the uh, settings. Okay, installed successfully. Okay, so let's go back to system. And we were at the MX. Uh, Lots of MX. Uh, Codex installer, I'm gonna check this. Now this here, um, okay, so it checks your signatures on your sources list, which is always good to do because, of course, if your signatures and your keys are not right, you won't be downloading anything. You'll have all kinds of problems even doing an update. So let's get back to MX. Flash Manager, Menu Editor, Package Installer, Remaster, Live Persistence and Remastering. Uh, you can set up your sound, default sound uh, configuration. Now, MX Snapshot creates a live ISO snapshot of your system. After you do all your tweaking and your adding of your uh, applications and modifying your settings, you can take a snapshot uh, and create an ISO so that if anything goes wrong, you can reinstall and be back to square one. You can switch users. Now we're going to take a look at MX Tools. And let's take a look at MX Tools and we're going to take a look at MX Package Installer. Now, M as you can see with the Package Installer, this is... Uh, super useful if you click on the uh, audio for example you can install uh, play uh, applications out of this menu and it's a big big time savings as far as using the terminal or using uh, the normal uh, graphical user interface for package management this is a a nice, nice, helpful utility that the folks at MX have put together and added in. So I'm going to definitely take advantage of this, but you can see all the categories. There are literally hundreds of programs that can be installed. Okay, so let's go back to the menu. In, in system, we have, I want to get back to MX Tools. Okay, so with MX Tools, you've got a lot of configuration utilities here. Uh, boot Repair, and some of these we went through in the menu. But you can see Menu Editor, there's Broadcom, there's the Package Installer, there's Flash Manager, uh, User Manager, Create Live USB, Persistence, and Saving Your System to an ISO. So it's uh, very nicely put together in one nice uh, location one screen where you can take advantage of all of these MX utilities and let's see if there's anything else in MX that we should take a look at no I think that's it but let's take a look at the welcome screen. Welcome to MX Linux, a fast, friendly, and stable OS loaded with amazing tools and supported by a great community. Explore the links below to get started. So you've got the user manual, the wiki, tools, forums, videos, and then of course every Linux distribution depends upon contributions in order to continue providing the operating systems that we um, use on a daily basis. So if you can, and again, it's up to every individual to make a decision, but if you can donate a few bucks to um, your favorite Linux distribution, it would certainly help to keep them viable and keep their developers working to improve. Uh, their, di their distribution. You can see the work that has gone into the MX-15. That would not be possible without some contributions from users like you and me. So 
Um, guys, that is it for this first look at MX-15. It looks tremendous. Uh, I'm very impressed with it. I highly recommend if you're, you, if you're into uh, Debian distributions and you use Debian, it certainly deserves consideration uh, for your day-to-day -day desktop computing needs. So that's it for this uh, review, guys. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, please rate, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you soon. Take care.